Thank you for checking out this show review video. This is for a Shutter original show called Dead Wax, and Dead Wax is all one word. It's a 2018 release, and it was done by, written dir and directed by uh, Graham Resnick, which I didn't really know much that he's done before, but um, yeah, so I'm going to get into this. First of all, the difference between, I, I know there's some people out there who have some confusion when it says Shutter Original versus Shutter Exclusive, exclusive means the film was made and then they kind of shopped it around and Shutter ended up purchasing it. So it was exclusive to Shutter. Um, original means that Shutter actually put money into the making of the film. So uh, this is an original. One of the things right off the bat I want to say that I really like about what they did with this film, or film, this show, it is film, but it's a show, um, is that, sorry for the cat in the background, she's acting up. Uh, she wasn't a fan of the show, but it, um, it, it did this thing. And I, and I preach about this all the time. When you're doing a TV show that's on a streaming service, and especially if it's made for the streaming service, you don't need to have a certain number of episodes that are a certain length each. And they, they stuck with what I like to say in this. It's, you know, make, make it however many episodes you feel is needed for the story and make it however long for each episode. And that's how it was. It was eight episodes and each episode is I think between 10 minutes and 16 minutes, like literally at the higher end, I think it was a 16 minute episode. And at the lower end, it was like a 10 minute episode. So, um, I like that. I'm all about that. So you can kind of like sit down, get a little bit here, get a little bit there. You know, it, it's not a huge commitment to just do like one quick episode. And, um, the, the negative on this, unfortunately, is that even though it was structured that way, it still felt like it was a little too much and they should have maybe cut something. It did drag at times, but I think a lot of the dragging actually had to do with how the acting was, which is not very good overall. There's a little bit of good acting here and there, uh, but overall it's not that good, which you know just has a tendency to make it feel like, oh my God, here we go, oh my God, can we get somewhere... Um, so I think it's a great concept for the show. It's, it's very much focused on auditory stuff. Dead Wax has to do with, um, records and it's kind of like this killer record. You learn that like right up front. So, um, but there's actually a lot more to it. So it, it's a cool story in theory. It's just how it was executed could have been done a lot better. I would have liked to see some tighter writing, maybe a lot more, uh, passes made at the script, but, um, yeah, I mean, good concept. It's just, it, it, it wasn't there in my opinion. And so I went, I don't know. If you really had interest in seeing the show, I would say go ahead and do it. And especially because it's not a huge time commitment or at least watch like the first episode or two to get an idea. I think it starts really well and they have some really good practical effects in the beginning. Um, and then it just kind of seems to peter off a little bit after that. So uh, let me go back to my notes because I know I already covered some of the stuff, but yeah. Um, the main actress in this film is terrible. I'm talking awful, atrocious, and that's one of the biggest problems. I feel like you could have made this film a lot more interesting, especially with the with the concept they were going with, if you have a lead actress who can really act. The issue with the, the main actress is no emotion. Every line is just delivered as wooden as possible, there's no inflection pretty much whatsoever. She doesn't emote with her face either. I was watching this the whole time and just being like, she's like Richard Gere. I don't, I've said it on one of my other reviews, but if you don't know, I, I hate Richard Gere because when he acts, he never emotes with his face. No matter what he's doing with his, with his voice, his face is the same. He's like an Irish setter. It's just like always like, well, I mean, that, that's an Irish setter mainly. Um, Richard Gere's more like that, but, uh, this actress is that way, like no emotion on her face at any point, but it's also, she has no inflection in her voice either. And it's terrible. On the other hand, on the other side of things is Ted Raimi. Ted Raimi shows up in the show and he is awesome. He actually chews the scenery every time he's on. He steals the show in my opinion. And I just wanted more of him because he was great in this. And I don't know if it's because he did a particularly good job or if it was because everyone else around him was so bad, especially the main actress, that it made you like, whoa. But um, I think he at least did a, a good job. Uh, I found him very enjoyable. So he's the best part of this show. I just wanted more of him. You needed more of him to actually 
make the show more interesting. Uh, yeah, the scenes are really slow. The dialogue doesn't really keep your interest. There's some cool concepts in the dialogue, and there's a lot of kind of like technical jargon, which supposedly I was reading somewhere that, um, or no, it was on a podcast. Actually, Graham Resnick was being interviewed. I think it was on the Mick Garris's uh, postmortem podcast. And he was talking about like working with auditory stuff, which is really cool. Um, and there, there is some real technical terminology in the film, which is accurate. And that's a cool aspect of it. So it goes back to, like, it's a cool concept. And they did play with some auditory stuff in it, like sounds and everything like that, which is also a really cool, interesting thing. So, but I just, it, it can't stand on its own. The story has to be there, too, and the acting has to be there, too, and the camera work has to be there, too, because another big issue with this is that there was some really horrible, shaky camera portions when it you could tell it wasn't supposed to be it wasn't supposed to be like a found footage type thing or anything like that it's just you're watching it and you're just like dude stop have you heard of a tripod they exist that's how you get a clean shot where there's none of this going on with with the camera my gosh so yeah there are just some bad choices like not using a tripod is a very prime example of bad choices so I would say that overall, like, the first maybe two episodes are quite interesting, and then after that it just starts to really become a slog. But then I will say, that, like, the very, uh, the last episode in particular gets pretty good, and that's interesting. And I think part of it is, um, there's, well, I'm not going to say the one thing about it, because this is no spoilers, so. But um, it starts really well, and there's a cool, cool idea in the final one and it, there's more interest than the rest of it so even though it is relatively short it does seem like they kind of waste some time which is really rough it means that there wasn't much of a script in my opinion so it's kind of like uh. so anyway but yeah um i would have liked to see this do a lot better i really really would i was very interested in it like i said it's a very cool concept um i've heard that there could be a possibility for a season two so if that does happen, I think I probably would give it a shot, maybe at least the first few episodes of season two, just to see how things develop. Because if maybe they get more money, maybe they're just more experienced with it, they have a better idea of where they want to go with the story. I mean, I would give it a shot. But um, whew, yeah, so uh, just not a fan of it at the moment. So I would say on my five-star rating scale with half stars in play that I'm going to give it a two-star rating. And I would have given it a one and a half, except Ted Raimi in this show. He gets it that extra half star to take it up to a two. So, Graham Resnick, you owe it to Ted Raimi that you got that extra half. But anyway, hopefully uh, this was helpful. Please hit the subscribe if you like any of my videos. Uh, put some comments down there. Did you see Dead Wax? I would actually be very interested in getting some comments from some people who really enjoyed Dead Wax and just kind of give me uh, an idea why. Like I said, there are some good things in there, but I just felt like it just didn't, didn't come together, at least not for me. And obviously, these are all just very personal opinions. I'm sure there are people out there who love that show, and that's good. So uh, yeah, put some comments down about that. If you want to do a like, do that. And thank you very much for checking this out. So until next time, keep it brutal.